If I'm going to call Riley to come to me, first of all, uh, if I want to set this up for the uh, ultimate possibility of success, I'm going to wait till he's looking away from me like this. I'm going to have the leash in my left hand, the reward in my right hand, and I'm going to say, come. And then when he turns around to come to me, I'm going to back away. Good. As soon as he, his nose touches my target hand, I open it and give him the treat. And then my left hand grabs the leash, and I step into him. Sit. Good. And that's the way I call him back into training mode. If I want to release him, I'm just going to pat his chest and say, go. Let him be free again, just so you can see that again. Left hand leash, right hand reward. You always want to practice calling him to come to you when he's at least looking away from you or distracted because that's what's going to happen in real life. He's not going to be staring at you, most likely. He's going to be moving away from you, maybe running out in the street or about to chase something or going to eat something that's uh, gross on the ground, whatever it is. Or who knows what he's sniffing right now. Come. You call him back to me. Good. And he's a little bit finicky, as you know, so if he's not hungry, sit. It doesn't matter. Do the same move and just reinforce that. Make sure that the pattern is reinforced where you say it once, you back away. Backing away will draw him to you. The worst case scenario, okay. Sit. Worst case scenario, he's going to maybe hesitate or ignore you. And all you do then is you give the leash a little pop and release. It's a little pop and release. It's like a tap on the shoulder. He's going to turn around, see you backing away, and be drawn to you. So if you, whether he's hungry or not, if you just are committed to that pattern every time, it's not going to matter if he's hungry or not. But if he's hungry, especially in the beginning when you're just starting to work with him and really getting this move down like, like he has down with me, then uh, it's going to help if he's a little bit motivated by food. But after doing that for a few weeks with food, you want to start phasing it out anyway. So just be committed to the pattern, do it the same way every time, make sure you're calling him to a closed hand because when there's no food, there's somebody walking behind us, you might want to show that. I don't know if they're coming out or not, they're making a lot of noise. Um, but if, you're, if you have a half open hand and there's no, there's no rewards, then um, he's going to see it's an empty hand, so always call him to this target and he'll never know that there's nothing in there. He'll always love to come to this and not even know why later on. Even when there's no food, go. You can say, come, and he comes to it, and good. You can love him up, and he'll barely miss the fact that there's no food reward in that, in that hand. Sit. These people have shown up here. He likes people. Okay.